6. Bad idle control valve symptoms and solutions The idle control valve, IAC, is an essential part of your vehicle's intake system, regulating the engine's idling speed. If it malfunctions, it can lead to various issues. In this video, we'll discuss the six main symptoms of a faulty idle control valve and explore solutions for each one. Stay tuned to learn how to identify and fix these problems. What is an idle control valve and how does it work? The idle control valve is a computer-controlled valve that allows air to bypass the throttle when it's closed, such as when your car is idling at a stoplight. Located near or on the throttle body, this valve helps maintain a steady idle speed by regulating the amount of air entering the engine. The engine control unit, AQ, adjusts the IAC valve to keep the idle speed within a specific range, typically between 500 and 1000 RPMs. Types of idle control valves There are several types of IAC valves, including actuator valves, rotating valves, and solenoid bypass valves. Despite their differences, all types function under the same basic principle of controlling airflow to regulate engine idle speed. 6 Symptoms of a Bad Idle Control Valve If your vehicle shows any of these symptoms, it could indicate a problem with the idle control valve. Let's break down each symptom and the recommended solution. 1. Check Engine Light a check engine light often indicates that the IAC valve isn't responding to the AQ. If cleaning doesn't fix the issue, you may need to replace the valve. 2. Engine stalling. If your engine stalls at stoplights or other low-speed situations, it might be due to a malfunctioning idle control valve. Cleaning could help, but replacement is often necessary. 3. Surging. If your engine speed surges while shifting gears or cruising, it could mean the IAC valve isn't sealing or responding correctly. Try cleaning it, and if the problem persists, consider replacement. 4. Idle speed fluctuation. When idle RPMs fluctuate unpredictably, it's a sign the idle control valve might be dirty or faulty. Cleaning could solve the issue, but if it doesn't, replace the valve. 5. Difficulty starting the car. If your car struggles to start or doesn't start at all, the idle control valve might be failing. In this case, replacement is usually the best course of action. 6. Hesitating to accelerate. If your car hesitates when you press the throttle, it could be due to a faulty IAC valve. Start by cleaning it, but be prepared to replace it if necessary. How to clean an idle control valve. Cleaning an idle control valve can often resolve the above symptoms. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to help you do it. 1. Locate the IAC valve. Follow the intake hose from the air filter box to the throttle body. The valve is usually mounted on its side or on the intake manifold. 2. Disconnect connectors and hoses. Unplug the IAC valve connector and all vacuum hoses. 3. Remove the IAC valve. Take off the bolts holding the valve in place. 4. Clean the valve. Use throttle body cleaner to spray the inside and a small brush to remove carbon buildup. 5. Reinstall the valve. Once it's clean, reinstall the valve and reconnect everything. How to replace an idle control valve. If cleaning doesn't solve the issue, you might need to replace the idle control valve. Here's what you need to do. 1. Locate the valve. The IAC valve is usually near the throttle body or on the intake manifold. 2. Unplug connectors and hoses, disconnect everything from the valve. 3. Remove and replace the valve. Take out the bolts, remove the old valve, and install the new one. 4. Reset the AQ. If necessary, Heat up your car by driving it for like 15 to 20 minutes. Turn it off and disconnect the battery's negative terminal for 30 to 60 minutes to reset the AQ. Frequently Asked Questions Can I drive with a failing idle air control valve? Yes, driving with a failing idle air control valve is possible. 
you may experience increased fuel consumption, poor acceleration, and delayed throttle response. However, it is advisable against because the vehicle might unexpectedly shut off and fail to restart. Can an idle control valve cause a misfire? It is highly unlikely for an idle control valve to cause a misfire. If misfires are occurring, it typically suggests a separate issue, even if the IAC valve is known to be defective. Can I clean an idle control valve without removing it? While it is possible to clean an idle control valve without removing it by accessing it through the throttle body idle air passage, the cleaning will not be as thorough as when it is fully removed. Can I clean an idle control valve with WD-40? Yes, an idle control valve can be cleaned using WD-40. WD-40 also produces specific throttle body cleaners that are suitable for this task. Can I use carb cleaner on the idle control valve? Yes, carb cleaner spray is appropriate for use on an idle control valve. What does code P0507 mean? Code P0507 indicates that the idle speed is higher than expected, which may be due to a dirty or faulty idle control valve. What causes code P0505? Code P0505 suggests that the AQ cannot control the idle control valve, typically indicating a failure of the valve, necessitating its replacement. In conclusion, Although the idle control valve is designed to last the lifetime of the vehicle, it's prone to failure due to carbon buildup and other factors. Regular cleaning can extend its life, but if the symptoms persist, replacing it is straightforward and relatively inexpensive. If you encounter any of the symptoms listed, take action to avoid more significant issues down the line. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this information helpful, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment with your questions or video suggestions. Stay safe, keep exploring, and I'll see you in the next video.